Hello friends, it's Mario Romero with the Melcher Agency and thank you for joining me. Today we will be discussing why the foreclosure won't crush the housing market next year. I know a lot of people are really concerned about it and especially when you read the media and what's going on with the job situation, the pandemic. So here, here it goes because what I've been telling other clients that are local and uh, so I hope you understand it's my opinion I pulled some stats so here's what I think you know with the strength of the current housing market growing every day and it is and more American returning to work we are having a faster than expected recovery in the housing sector and it's going full-blown and already underway but many are still asking the question will we see a wave of foreclosures as a result of the current crisis well, thankfully, research shows the number of foreclosures is expected to be much lower than what this country experienced during the last recession. And according to Black Knight Inc., the number of those in active forbearance has been leveling off for over the past month. Of the original 4,208,000 families that were granted forbearance, only 2,588,000 of these homeowners got an extension. So people are going through and making their payments again. They started again to pay their mortgages, they paid off their homes, or never went delinquent on their payments in the first place. They may have applied for forbearance out of precaution, but a lot never fully acted on it. The housing market and homeowners are in much, are in much better position than many may think. Much of that has to do with the fact that today's homeowners have more equity than most people realize. According to John Burns Company, over 42% of homes are owned free and clear. 42%. This means they are not tied to a mortgage. Of the remaining 58%, the average homeowner had about 177,000 in equity. And that number is keeping many homeowners afloat today and giving, and giving them options to avoid foreclosure. Well, Adam Data Solutions indicates that there is a potential for a number of foreclosures to increase throughout the country. It's important to understand why they won't rock the housing market this time around. Today's actual quarterly active foreclosure number is 74,860. That is over seven, times, seven and a half times lower than the number of foreclosures the country saw at the peak of the housing crash in 2009. It's clear that even if the number of quarterly foreclosures today doubles, there's a possibility, not a given, they will only reach what, historically speaking, is a normalized range. Far below what ended up the housing market roughly 10 years ago. Equity is growing, jobs are returning, and the economy is slowly recovering. So the perfect storm for a wave of foreclosures is not realistically in the housing market forecast. Well, our hearts are, are out there with anyone who may end up in a foreclosure as a, as a result of this crisis. We do know that today's homeowners have more options than they did 10 years ago. For some, it may mean selling their homes and downsizing without equity, which is a far better outcome than foreclosure. Bottom line, homeowners today have many options to avoid foreclosure and equity is surely helping to keep many afloat. Even if today's rate of foreclosure doubles, it will still only hit a mark that is more in line with the historically normalized range. A very good sign for homeowners and the housing market. So thanks for joining us today and let us know how you are doing. We are here for you. If you have any questions, whether you're buying or selling, or just want to meet up for, for a cup of coffee, give me a call at 602-252-4191. This is Mario Romero at the Melcher Agency signing off. Be kind, be safe, stay healthy, and please keep in touch with your loved ones. Go out and make it a terrific day.